Thank you, John, for such a generous introduction. Uh, it means a lot to me because this is really my first time as a professor at the University of Orientale uh, here uh, and uh, seeing so many familiar faces and uh, names of young scholars and researchers that I, I truly appreciate and I thank very much, Irene, Davide, and uh, the, the ones I heard this morning, uh, your work is precious. Um, as um, the representative of the European Council here said this morning, um, um, working on uh, the genesis and the diffusion, transmission of the artistic representation of the Quran, uh, it's a, a, a societal um, uh, duty. Uh, I feel as a professor of literature, uh, because you, you opened my eyes about um, something that is very dear to me about why um, literature is considered uh, still um, a discipline that doesn't contribute to the, to the progress of society. Uh, as we see uh, the artistic, artistic, artistic representation of the Quran, uh, we see, uh, I hope to show, the impact that it has on uh, the society. And so um, this image, I uh, will explain it later. And uh, I will take you through a journey, and I apologize, it's going to be a little fast, but uh, um, what is, um, mm, what has uh, Dante, the poet, uh, um, to do with the painter Filippino Rippi, uh, the Renaissance painter, and uh, the prophet Muhammad? In particular, what does a flying bull with a half moon on his belly has anything to do with uh, Muhammad, who is, um, uh, punished as a schismatics um, among sinners of malice, so among fraudulents. Um, I talk about this a little bit, well, a lot in the book uh, that was published in 2018, but what do they have in common? They have in common uh, Mohammed uh, and Moses, and in particular, the delivery of the law. I choose of the uh, illustration of the, from the Decasibus, um, the um, French translation of the Decasibus by Boccaccio, this particular illumination because um, uh, the artist represents the delivery of the law um, to Moses and to Mohammed on a mountain. And that is introducing uh, this imagery that is related to the delivery of the law. Uh, which is important to go back to the painting by B. Filippino Lippi and why Dante punishes um, Mohammed as a schismatic. So um, uh, the, um, there is a, in the artistic representation of uh, the delivery of the law, there is always a high point, is a mountain. And then later on we see through certain uh, version of this legend uh, of the bull that carries the holy book to Muhammad, how uh, is related to Moses. So uh, there are two legends and they are both represented in this in illumination. Uh, you have a dove that um, pecks in the ear of Muhammad, the new law. So the whispers uh, of the dove is the Holy Spirit that dictates the new law. And then there is another legend uh, um, that features a bull carrying the Quran between its horns. Now, it must um, uh, be said that while the legend of the dove um, as a, uh, a monk, Sergius of Baira, uh, that uh, as the idea of the dove, the uh, idea of the bull um, throughout the several versions of this legend, anti Muhammad legend, um, is Muhammad's idea. It's not an instigator, a weak instigator idea. And this is important how we um, go through the genesis of this legend of the bull that carries the holy book between its horns and um, Dante's idea to put uh, Dan uh, Muhammad amongst the schismatics. So um, the illustrations, uh, the few illustrations that we have of the delivery of the law to Muhammad uh, also feature him in a, in a closed space. Uh, but again, the one that more conveys uh, the, uh, the idea of uh, uh, the delivery as uh, Moses uh, received the tables of the law is this one, frankly. So um, um, this is what I claim, that um, 
Mohammed is uh, in the legend is portrayed as new Moses, but is also con contrary to Moses. And the elements that are uh, used to make this legend, to fabricate this legend against Mohammed, are learned. There are learned elements that come from uh, um, uh, learned uh, writers that build this legend that has to do with uh, the bull carrying the holy book between its four horns. Now, um, uh, I choose these two illustrations because uh, you will see uh, that this is the conclusion where I, were, I wanted to get. Moses is the book and Mohammed in among the schismatics, we know that there is a contrapasso in hell, is conveying through his division the, in the contrapasso, the uh, proportionally contrary sin that he committed, as he, uh, according to the legend, has written the Quran, and in doing so, he has uh, counterfeited the Bible and so lacerated, ripped the Bible. And so he's conveying, I claim, in his contrapasso, because he's the only one that talks to Dante, the pilgrim and the poet Dante, saying, hey, hey, look at me, look how I open myself. So there is this personal relationship that uh, Dante establishes with Mohammed that again I say that is um, conveying in his contrapasso the laceration of the volume that he did, that is the Bible that he uh, lacerated. So what is the, the criticism that uh, of course uh, writing a book uh, takes courage but also being here uh, is an incredible moment of feedback. So here we don't see the tables of the law. However, we have all the elements to know that this is the adoration of the golden calf, but we have a big problem. We don't have a calf. It is not gold and it's very lively. So, um, and in Fano 28, uh, we don't see the bull. And we don't see the bull, and the commentators to the comedia don't mention the bull. But let's, let's go across Dante the poet and uh, what tradition he followed as a man of his own time. So um, we know that uh, the commentaries to the Commedia uh, have uh, sources, although we cannot trust them all the time, as I, I, I went across this in the, in the book. Um, so Vincent Bove, Jacobus da Varagine, Martino Poland, they all talk about these two prodigies. Uh, and uh, when Vincenzo Bellocascensis does it, he does refer to uh, the fact that the law was delivered, delivered um, on a high, on an altitude, on a mountain, um, so as to convince the witnesses that this was sent by uh, God himself. So the, the first trace of the legend comes from uh, this area, 19th century, in the Apocalypse of Byra, and um, so uh, at this point in the Apocalypse of Byra, we have the three elements. We have the bull, we have the holy book, and we have the fraud. And fraud is an important word to see eventually why Mohammed is not among heretics, but is among schismatics, because schismatics belong, like Ulysses, who's nearby in the Dante's hell, belongs to those who committed a fraud. And by that fraud, they brought about a schism in the civic community. So um, these texts, uh, they all refer to a calf or a cow in the Apocalypse of Bayram. Uh, we have a monk that tells Mohammed, um, look, you, uh, today's the day that uh, God will send you a good uh, book from heaven. And uh, he, Mohammed doesn't, doesn't know anything about it. He says, how am I going to do that? He says, oh, don't worry, I write your book and I'll teach you what is written there. And so we read in, uh, in uh, the Apocalypse of Byra that the books is the evidence of, prophet of prophecy. So, and uh, another element that we get is that people who witness this, um, the, the role of the law uh, on the horn, on the right horn of the, of the bull, uh, believe that and recognize a heavenly uh, sending. So, um, from here, um, we also read uh, that the book was called al Furqan because it was separated into many chapters and made up of many books. Uh, some things that we have already heard uh, so far. So the elements we get from the Apocalypse of Bayra is the origin of the holy book of Islam as a forged Bible, the trust 
which is important for also when we get to Dante, the authority of the book. The third element is the presence of witnesses to the delivery of the book. Ma Moses at this point is not mentioned, but his uh, shadow uh, is casting upon uh, the entire episode, uh, as we know that um, God asked Moses to sacrifice a cow. So we already uh, learn at this point, at this stage in the Syriac uh, version of the Apoc uh, Apocalypse of Byra, that the book contains everything you will need. Status, stories, tales of real prophets, pious martyrs, beautiful exhortation, nothing, nothing has been left out of this book. So then um, in, um, in 1300, in the, in the Ditamondo by Fazio degli Uberti, uh, he mentions the Alcorano, and uh, is, this is a moment between him and Solino, and Solino is the one who's telling uh, um, uh, Fazio about uh, Mohammed and his law. Uh, we, we see the mention of the Alcorano, and it's defined like this. He took the Old and New Testament, and then he took a few things here and there as he liked it. Tolse lega sciolse. Tolse is like robbing, it's like taking away, legare, to bound, and at the same time to unbound. So this is the operation of the fabrication that is uh, uh, circulating of the uh, Quran at this point. But this is after Dante. And uh, this is the idea that comes from Aquinas, Thomas Aquinas, that the book was made of inductas, fabulas, mixing, uh, mixing um, uh, Old New Testament with fables. Um, so then the bull uh, returns, um, and now we are, we move uh, to the west. In Brico Mines uh, features um, uh, a bull, and this book is, uh, is very violent, as uh, is a kind of a new monster. But what is important here and is fascinating, the bull, um, the bull's idea is, the, is of a um, magus, uh, this assistant that um, makes up the deliverer of the book. But what is interesting for uh, us is that, uh, again, the celestial nature and the delivery of the Quran, but um, the, the letters are written in gold. And um, what is fascinating is that in Pisa, uh, in Pisa we have a, uh, a life of Muhammad and deeds of uh, Muhammad that um, also feature two bulls, like in, um, they feature two bulls, like in uh, Embrigo of Mines, uh, Life of Muhammad. Actually, that is a Carmen de Fraudibus, so the fraud is very present in, in Embrigo de Mines poem. But what is interesting here is that in this Life of Muhammad, that is kept in the um, Biblioteca del Seminario della Chiesa di Santa Caterina di Alessandria, uh, also the bull, there are two bulls, but one, a colorful one, has the poem rolled on a horn uh, also in golden letters. Why is that interesting for us? Because this is the same church that has this painting, uh, where Aristotle is sleeping, uh, the book of Islam is closed, and of course it's the triumph of Thomas over, um, over uh, the book of Averroes. So this is the same church that keeps this, um, this um, uh, life and deeds of Muhammad. And uh, this is the, the same city where we have Muhammad condemned in the Campo Santo di Pisa, uh, you know, among uh, schismatics as well, as we see. So, um, a life of Muhammad that I, I believe I discovered, I didn't realize until today, uh, uh, because I, I, um, I talk about it in the book, but I didn't pay attention that I never found any mention of this uh, life of Muhammad anywhere else. So, uh, a Dominican, um, Thomas um, Tusco, um, says in 1279 to have found the life of Muhammad in a church in, uh, in the sacristia, in the sacristia in Bologna. And what is interesting in this uh, unique version in, it, in Italian tradition against Muhammad, that um, uh, again, the monk uh, uh, is uh, convincing Muhammad, uh, first with the dove, uh, but then later with uh, a, 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 a cow. And uh, he tells uh, Muhammad, it, uh, Muhammad tells the monk at one point to go into a well. And, um, and uh, so from the well, is talking like uh, with God, and then Muhammad decides to kill uh, the monk. So they would be the only one who is responsible of the, uh, uh, of the new prophet. And so here, the vaca, the cow, is um, interestingly enough, again, uh, of various colors. And again, is this one 
uh, that convinced people that he's the new um, uh, the new prophet. So again, Moses is not literally uh, is not necessarily mentioned at this point, but then um, all the elements related to the delivery of the book um, and the space where the delivery happens is. Uh, the space where Moses received the law. So we are at this point uh, talking about um, uh, uh, an audience uh, that uh, is supposed to be Christian. So uh, this is an important element because the, the Christians would recognize the delivery uh, that was the delivery of the new law of the law to Moses. So this is about recognizing um, uh, recognizing elements that are familiar to the audience because supposedly Mohammed, and this is also for Dante, as, as converted Christians. So uh, the elements we gathered so far, we found it in Guiberto of Nogent as well, that the law was made by Stuzia. For Guiberto of Nogent, it's fundamental the role of the book. Without the book, people would have not believed in him. So uh, as soon as the book arrives, um, attached to the horn of the of the um, of the uh, the bull, then people believed him, and actually Gilbert calls him, uh, the, you know, the wonderful legislator. Uh, Mohammed calls it like that. So in the Otia de Macomete, we finally uh, see the association. It's clear between Moses and the prophet. Um, so um, um, Mohammed is responsible of training a bull in a hidden way and uh, teach him how to eat from his lap when he, he hears his voice. So um, in the Otsa de Magomete we find uh, Mohammed gathering people on a mountain and asking that he gives him a uh, sign of the new law. Uh, and the connection is of course very fruitful for uh, Alexandre Dupont who used it in the Roman de Maomet where um, uh, the book brought by the bull, uh, we have the verb, I didn't invent it, is there, becomes a way to certify the new law. Moses can be trusted. And uh, again, it, we start from the supposition that is wrong, that Mohammed was converting Christians. Um, so, and now we go back after this introduction to the painting. It's called The Adoration of the Golden Calf. I uh, claim that is not a golden calf. As I said before, we, it's visible. And um, this painting should be read uh, according to the events that followed the uh, conquest of, the, of Constantinople. So basically, it's considered the bull that carried the law into the, Medi the Oriental Mediterranean is responsible for the introduction of Islam. And so uh, the half moon, the flying bull, the fact that it's coming almost from the sea, and the entire scene uh, is referring to, uh, of course, to this uh, new law introduced by the bull. We normally see the bull, uh, the calf, actually, not the bull, that is static, of course, is related to the uh, delivery of the law. And even the contemporary of um, uh, Filippino Lippi uh, puts the bull, I mean, the, the calf in gold and in relation to the tables, the, the um, Moses receiving the, the tables of the law. So um, there are many elements that uh, can convince us that Filippino Lippi was thinking about uh, uh, the, the conquest of Constantinople. But let's go back to Dante. Actually, let's go to Dante because I also had occasion with John to, uh, to uh, and I thank you for your feedback about um, why insisting with this bull uh, when the legend of the dove also carries a, uh, the law by whispering the law. The problem with the legend of the dove, there are two. Uh, they cannot sustain the presence of Muhammad among schismatics in hell. And his contrapasso as a written book that he did with his own hand because he wrote the Quran and he said that God instead wrote it. Is that the legend of the dove is uh, attributed, um, the strategy of the dove is attributed to a monk, not to Muhammad himself. And two, you don't really have the book. You have um, the, the it, it, it has been whispered, but uh, there is not a tangible um, witnessing of a book on the, on the side of, of uh, the, the people. So here's where we are in the hell. And this is exactly where Mohammed is um, among 
uh, sinus or malis. So the, the question I ask myself in relation to this peculiar contrapasso uh, that Mohammed is experiencing and also why is a fraudulent, one, why is not among heretics? Uh, and two, um, we know that Saladin is, uh, you know, is in a beautiful place. It's still held, but at least it's beautiful. It's among, you know, uh, those, uh, the, 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 those are in limbo. And, um, and why he has this personal engagement with Dante? And uh, we have to remember that we are dealing with a poem, so it's a book. We cannot take an episode and study on its own without getting into the reasons of the poem. And uh, we know that the Commedia is all about Dante, and Dante is all about wanting to be considered a poet. He considers himself, and he writes that he is a scribade. He's writing, dictating what God tells him. So there is something personal about Dante the poet and Mohammed who wrote the Quran. Um, so why is the only one who's ripping open his chest and with his own hands? And why this is he's doing this just for him? So um, the fraud. When uh, so the criticism about the bull is not there. What is the fraud? Uh, so Mohammed is among fraudulents because he committed a fraud. He divided Christians with a fraud. But what is the fraud? The fraud I claim is this book that he wrote. Uh, by faking that he, uh, God wrote it. How did he do that? Um, by gaining trust through images that were familiar to uh, uh, the Christians. Because the book certifies our faith. That he has Thomas Aquinas backing him up all the time. And, uh, and, uh, and we know that the book certifies our faith. So, and it's Thomas who talks about the Astuto Concilio, about this book that has been uh, counterfeited, which is the Bible being forged by uh, Muhammad. This is one of the few representation of the legend of the dove that portrays the book. Like we see the the, the 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 role, but otherwise we don't have this tangible image of the book when it comes to the legend of the dove. Um, how do we um, explain that the legend of the dove could not be uh, sustainable for the punishment that Muhammad is suffering, but is instead the the legend of the bull carrying the Quran uh, between its horns? Because Virgil explains that there are two types of fraud. One is for people who don't trust you, and one is for people who trust you. So Ulysses had people um, uh, deceived because they trusted him. And so he said, let's go and through the, you know, the pillars of uh, Hercules, uh, through the Strait of Gibraltar. But he said Mohammed had a problem. He didn't know how to be believed. So in order to be trusted, he um, used images that were familiar to them, which is the delivery of the law. Uh, as Moses did. And so um, all the commentators uh, to the Commedia, of course, don't mention the bull, but they do mention that the schism was brought about by this book because people recognized images that were, uh, again, familiar to them. So I just want to, um, uh, to close by, um, because this session was dedicated to the, the, the theological uh, um, Genesis background, um, I just want to conclude by saying that um, for Dante it's all about the book. And um, this is the reason why I choose this image. You know, Moses is almost like carrying this book, but nothing more than uh, this one um, shows um, that Muhammad is, uh, the Moses is the book itself. And so Mohammed, in this sense, by referring and getting authority from the, um, the delivery of the law to Moses, gets authority and is believed. But at the same time, is conveying with this contrapasso the reaping uh, of the writing of the Bible. And again, it's Thomas Aquinas begging us up about the scriptura di la cerata. And then I found it extremely beautiful, this image of um, that is under uh, Muhammad ripping himself as what he did to the book. So here you have Moses copying the law, but Moses is the law. It's so beautiful that the entire body of Moses is the book. 
and that is uh, this is something that uh, see how you grow from writing a book and then keep studying and learning from everybody else so this is not in the book that I wrote in 2018 but uh, I mean uh, um, uh, John's provocation invited me to th think through about why Muhammad although we don't read about the bull is the book that he has counterfeited and now is reflecting in his own laceration in in hell uh, with his own hands eroded and with his own hands is ripping uh, cyclically himself uh, apart and so uh, imagine that is in this uh, in this uh, bible moralisé um, you have uh, uh, Moses born in, put in a chest underneath the explanation of this episode is incredibly beautiful is Jesus in a book Jesus born in a book. Jesus growing out of the book. Jesus is the book. So here is the this uh, association that makes uh, there is only one missing here is Dante, because Dante is considering himself the scribadei. Dante has a problem with Muhammad. I write a book and I unify what is scattered in the universe. You wrote the book and with the book you divided people, the civic community. And so this is the association that this book has been used by Dante to celebrate himself as a poet. Thank you.